I'm going to show you where extreme poverty has been and how it has decreased. Uh, this is the world, and here are the population back in 1800 in each of the regions, in total one billion. Here is the joystick of income. And I'm going to put down these people to show their incomes. First Europe, and they spread out here, and then Americas on top of that, then come Africa, and on top of it, the most populous region, Asia, including Australia. And as I showed you before, almost all people there were living in extreme poverty on all regions in the world. Now, I'm going to show you what has happened. I start the world and look, with industrial revolution, the population grew here and the incomes expanded here, mainly because of increased income in Europe and America. And then in the 20th century, population continued to grow here and incomes increased even more here. And that changed the whole pattern of the world. It became a divided world. The worldview you grew up with, with the rich West here and with poor Africa and Asia here. But in the 1980s, the amazing growth of China and the other tiger economy in Asia and India, they start to get out of poverty, they close this gap, and they are coming over on this side, and the shape of the world changed again. And look now, Africa is following, I call them the lion economies of Africa. And here we are today in a completely new shape of the world. For those of you who still think about the world as the rich and the poor, I'm going to give you a new concept. I'm going to give you a new term, the middle. What we have to do is to look at those who recently came from extreme poverty and into the middle to learn what does it take to go from here to there. 